What happened to Disney? I don't know. I mean, well, they were awesome. What the fuck happened? I don't know. And like these, this is not like cash grab Disney. This is like I mean, this is Disney. still sort of cash grab. I mean, it is cash grab, but there's heart to it. You can tell that the animators really love put pour their souls in it. Yes, the cameos were Grinch. painful, you except for Grinch. two. Yeah. Except for two, the Mary Poppins one and... Well, Mary Poppins or Angela Lansbury, uh, either or works. Exactly, Angela Lansbury or... And the guy who mentioned the blues, you know, jazz. Yeah. But yeah, like, this was fucking amazing. Like, yes, I mean, yes, it's a cash grab, but uh, there's heart to it. And yeah. It, and I'll give it, be- give it this much better than most modern m- movies, even the cameos. Yes, they were painful, but they were intriguingly painful. It's not like a generic Marvel movie. Yeah. I'll give it that. But yeah. Let let what in talk wanna talk about the shorts in order or as we go along? We can talk about them in order. Okay, let's start with the butterfly one. I mean it's the fifth symphony. Hey. Oh yeah, no don't, don't get me wrong, the visuals are The visuals are fine. They're actually great. It's just that it's, it's just confused. Not really confused, it's just Compared to uh, some of the later ones, it kind of doesn't stick out as much. True. People mostly... Granted, I wish it would stick out more than the s- fucking Flamingo, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I really like the Butterfly one. Like It was neat visually. And, and it's a nice way to open up the movie. Exactly. And let's get this out of the way. Steve Martin, you suck in this movie. I'm sorry. I'm sure you're a nice guy. But... A good majority of the... Uh, celebrity cameos don't really add in work mm-hmm. but whatever they're just there to lead us into the next one true Which but yeah didn't even have to do in the first one but you know time changes yeah but yeah anyway but yeah like the butterfly one visually is fucking amazing and you know i love i'm a huge fan of the fifth symphony yeah Granted, I prefer the, uh, if they had opened up with the whale one, though. Mm, I mean, I kind of prefer they ended with the whale one. Really? Yeah, like, don't get me wrong, like, don't get me wrong, the whale one is amazing. It's just that I feel like, here's my good thing with the whale one. It has all the Disney metaphors in it. Basically, it says, no matter how dark things get, there's always hope. Yeah. Well, you know, with the baby whale getting lost and being... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but, yeah. After that is my second favorite uh, skit uh, short. Uh, wait, wait, before, the... before we talk about that one, I want to well, finish up with the whale one. The, the, the whale one... Oh, oh, yeah, I have to mention this. The CGI animation is fucking awesome. Actually, yeah. The like, CGI it still holds this up. this movie actually still holds up for it's the like, most part. Like... It, it has an age poorly. It looks fine. Yeah, it looks like... I some... think it's also because it's mixed in with some 2D animation. True, it looks like a Studio Orange production from... You know, it reminds me of Trigun and Land of the Lustrous. It's fucking awesome. Fair enough. But yeah, and, but yeah let's talk about my, my other favorite one. Rhapsody in Blue. Oh, I love that one. I love the drawings. I love the music. I love it. I, love, oh, I still, love it. Yeah, it still holds up. Yeah, Rhapsody and Blues. What a cool name. Yeah, but yeah, like I like that it's set in the Great Depression, and that you know there's themes. There's themes of trying to accomplish your dreams with the purple guy. Yeah, or trying to actually get a job with the with the guy who doesn't have money. Yeah, who by the way. Gets, like, chewed out by a police officer despite the cop doing the exact thing he was going to do. To be fair, at least he has money. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that particular skit still holds up. Afterwards, it was the... Mm -hmm. I think it was the Steadfast Tin Soldier one. Oh, yeah, the Tin Soldier one. I really love that one. It's like a mixture of 2D and 3D. Yeah, that one also uses the CGI well. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, afterwards it was the flamingo one, wasn't it? Yeah. 
My least uh, favorite. Why, why do they waste AJ Young, James Earl Jones? Out of all the cameos to lead in, James Earl Jones wasted on that. On a stupid joke. Why? It's James Earl fucking Jones. Why? It's like giving giving Orson Welles a, a, a Adam Sandler script. Like, why? I actually think they did that once. No! I mean, it wasn't with Orson Welles. I think it was with Robert De Niro. No! 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 Robert! Why? Why? Call Jack and Jill? I want to strangle you, strangle you, but I won't. Let's get this through. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> I want to strangle myself, too, for just remembering that. <laughs> anyway. Yes, the Flamingo one. Here's my hot take. <sighs> I know you're going to hate me, but hey, you already mentioned Jack and Jill, so here's the, my hot take. I think the Flamingo one is fine. It has a strong message about being yourself, you know, being in, an individual and not part of the herd. But that being said... It's still awful. Yeah, it's still awful. It has a good message. It's still god awful. Eh, I mean, I, I don't... Yeah, okay, it's the worst one of the movie. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's the worst one of the movie. Like, yes, like, the butterfly one's more forgettable, but that one's at least better executed. Yeah. Um, afterwards, it was the redoing of Sorcerer's Apprentice. Which, oh my god. 40s Disney was cooking. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. And um, afterwards, it was the Noah's Ark with Donald Duck. Which, with the graduation theme. <laughs> I mean, that one was fine. It's like a... I mean... I'm well, sorry. Every time I hear the graduation theme, I expect someone with a diploma to walk by. <laughs> or when I think of that theme, I think of a clockwork orange. <laughs> but yeah, like the Donald Duck... Oh, that's the second worst joke of the movie. Just the whole Roger Rabbit thing. Mm. Where basically... It's, Actually, it's, I think that was for the Sorcerer's Apprentice one. You know, a transition between the Sorcerer's Apprentice and Noah's Ark. Well... It was the transition between the Flamingo one to Sorcerer Apprentice. Exactly that one. It's like, but yeah, that's the worst joke in the movie. Yeah. Oh, that that was like something out of Beavis. And, oh, I forgot Beavis and Butthead. Like I know they don't, they're not that, but it's Beavis and Butthead. They're in the movie. They just sort don't. Sort of. They just don't call him they, them Beavis. I mean, and they're actual people. They're uh, they usually are well respected magicians, um, but. Oh, no, they're, they're not comedians. No. They're Why magicians. give them jokes? I don't know. It's they're not comedians. It'll be one thing if they let Chris Rock or someone else do it. No, no, that would actually be worse. <laughs> I mean, at least it would be funny, bad. Yeah. Not, not like painfully bad like this. Yeah, but afterwards, after both that and the Donald Duck one, uh. We get our final one of the movie, which is still my absolute favorite of the movie, mm -hmm. uh, The Firebird Suite. And it's basically a Miyazaki short, in a good way, in a good way. This is something Miyazaki would have a boner for. Yes. Like, it has it, all of his trademarks, environmentalism, a love of nature, and a love of the earth. Yeah. And, you know... And it just looks kick-ass. Oh, it, it looks kick-ass. It's also it also gave me a couple of jump scares. And yeah, mostly with the titular Firebird. Oh yeah, that was terrifying. Do you think this is their way of 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 doing Ball Mountain or of well, doing this Ball is, Mountain? This is their attempt at it, or the barely to pull something at the same vein Level. of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't work. Work. Uh, it's still a great skit, but it's no night on Ball Mountain. Yeah. And it's perfectly fine to finish the movie with. Oh, yeah, definitely. I agree. It's really experimental. I like how it's... Yeah, mentioned. this is the Disney that I often miss. The experimental Disney. Which hopefully is making a comeback. Please. Hopefully, please. It please. usually happens whenever they have, like, bad movies back to back to back. They go into the experimental stuff, and then they start doing good again. True. Like, I... With the return, with the return to the animation, I pray the guy would get Fantasia three, or as I like to call it, Fantasia three thousand. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but yeah, I'm really excited for the return of two D Disney because yeah, I'm gonna just say it. I hate their CGI crap. 
Oh, you mean they're remakes? That too. I mean, don't get me wrong, their CGI stuff is good, like Frozen. Frozen, Tangle. Ma Ma Mona. It's just that, it, mm. it's just their attempt to make, make Pixar. I'm like, what made Disney unique was the hand-drawn stuff. Eh. Let Pixar do these three. I mean, stuff. Disney has done live action before that, but, you know. But you get what I mean, right? Yeah, I know. I know. But I'm still pointing it out. It's okay. not that they haven't done live action before. Oh, yeah. Th I'm, I'm not saying that. It's just that I, when I say 3D, I mean, like, the CG animation. Yeah, I know. I think the problem is it's bit with these movies. It's mostly because of the remakes. Oh, the remakes. I hate the remakes them. and that Disney has basically turned into a corrupt version of itself. But you know, Walt Disney would fucking roll in his grave or come out and say, "Give me my money," or or even better yet, would slap the CEO so hard that would be like, "Give me my position back, and you're fired." Yeah. Honestly, I would actually want to see that Walt Disney coming back from the dead just to take back his job. Exactly. Make Disney... Oh, no, I hate this D term. Don't say it. I know what you're I... going to say. Do not say it. Uh, oh, I hate it. No I referencing it. to him. I hate it. I hate this term like you, but... Is there another way to say it? No. Okay. Don't say it. Don't say it. All right. Don't say it. It's just trying to make Disney great again. Damn it! <laughs> I jumped right into that one. <laughs> Damn you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I can't even say it when I'm feeling dirty inside Me now. I know. I feel dirty too. That's why I didn't want to say it. Like, I'm, I'm, I was trying to find another way, but then... I remember that weaponized Nazi. Did you trick me into saying it? No, no, no. Like I was just, I was legit asking how, how do I, how do we say it differently? That doesn't reference that fucking Nazi. Uh huh. Gotcha. Mm hmm. Anyway, just in case, though. Of course, of course. But yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like. I'm I'm really hyped. I hope they do more of the experimental stuff yeah. since their recent stuff, specifically their remakes, is fucking. Ter it's bankrupt. I mean, I mean, it used to be live action remakes. Then the Lion King one came in and it was n not even live action. It's CGI. Uh, no, they're just remakes and bad ones. <sighs> yeah. You're just trying to retell the story that you already did once, but not, not poorly. Too by not changing anything. Yeah, you're just doing it again, but shittier. Exactly. The, the point of a remake is to re... to change the story. Exactly. Like, don't do a shot-for-shot shot remakes. Those never work. Like, yeah. the only time... You, you want to know which one, surprisingly, did? Even though it's treated like fucking trash like it's supposed to? Yeah. Actually did some changes? Mm hmm And I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth. The Little Mermaid remake. Yeah, you had to say it, you fucking asshole. No, I no. can't even take that one seriously. Why? But I'm dead serious. I but mean, I'm dead serious. It did try and do some changes. I mean, at I, least ones that were more noticeable in that one. True. Like, yeah, like that's honestly that's one of the better uh, remakes. But uh, that doesn't make it good. It's no, it doesn't. It's still got awful. Yeah, like. But at least it tried something. Exactly. I Thankfully, agree. it failed because I kind of wanted it to fail so that Disney can get their fucking heads together, together, and actually move on from this. It doesn't shit. help that that movie is directed right by Rob Marshall, one of the worst directors of the modern era. He also directed Pirates Four. The one with Blackbeard. Yeah. Yeah. That bad. You know, for a second I thought you were going to say he was the one responsible for Pirates 5 because that would explain why Javier Bardem was in that movie. No, that, that, that he was in Pirates 4. The, the guy who directed it, that was Pirates 4. Mm. Yeah, so I'm like, just hire... If you're going to do a remake, hire an actual auteur. Like, yes, Burden failed, but uh, 
He still tried. He still tried. Yes, his Alice Al in Wonderland His Alice in Wonderland remake failed, but you know what? It was still a remake. Granted, it wasn't even a remake. It was a sequel. It's, yeah, it was kind of a loose sequel. And it kind of ruins the entirety of Wonderland by making it into Wonderland, but you know... <laughs> it tried to be different. It, it was just an auteur's vision. It's... It was not... Nope, nope. Don't go into Tim Burton's Wonderland again. I already have enough issues with that movie. Yeah, but you get and my point. the fact that the American McGee games make that shit ten times better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but at least it tried to do something really different with the material. It was an auteur's vision. Yeah. I'm like, just get Greta Gerwig to make a Disney remake. Get Christopher Nolan. Like, get actual filmmakers. Get someone else to do it. Don't don't pick. Don't, I, I'm, I'm don't sure. just go for your usual go-tos. Yeah, don't. I, I don't want to say they're... Or at least to, actually allow people to do remakes. Exactly. I don't want to say that the people they're hiring are hacks, but they're not up tours either. Yeah. It's so... And that's specifically to their movies. I think with their shows, it's different. Yeah. Because sometimes they get hits, like the DuckTales reboot, or stuff like that, but, you know... What about Gravity Falls? Was that Disney? Yeah, that was Disney. Oh, yeah, that, right and stuff like Gravity Falls. Like, let them go wild. Yeah. And please, don't censor it like you did when you put Gravity Falls in Disney+. Plus. Uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, they just censored it. No! No! Disney, you fascists! No, no, no. You sold out to China, now you sold out to fascism. Fuck you, fuck you. And they only you. censored the final episode. What? No, 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 no. Do not do that. That's bad. Bad Disney. It was just the part where Bill Cipher turns um, a Northwest face inside out. Still, no censoring. Like, it's, it's this is like the Star Wars special editions all over again. Or the time that they uh, censored Lilo and Stitch. Oh, wait. Ah! Uh... Okay, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I can probably continue this. Don't, don't. No, 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 no. No. Okay. Let's go to our final scores and discuss our plans for the future. Eight. Okay, nine. Like, I, I loved them. I liked it a lot. I Yes, the cameos were painful, but that's were, the exact reason why it's an eight and not a nine. Yeah, but the highs are really high. That's why it's a nine. Yeah. But yeah, let's tell them our plans of what we plan to do. Uh, okay, so, so unfortunately, this Friday we can't continue the vlog series, the the anime wars for or, or yeah for now. But we will later. Yeah, around December. And what the fuck? What? This kid puts on quite a show. What the fuck? Is what that? if season two? Oh no! Uh, um, is that AI? It, it, is that AI art? What? No, no, that's the actual art of the show. Oh, uh, it's ugly. Yes, it is. Um. Uh, but yeah, on um, uh, I lost my train of thought. You know what? See ya. Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. I'll right. finish. So yeah, our plans for next week when when I come when, back when we come back from our trip, we're gonna do the movie My Way. And and do uh, the, the next episodes of Gundam Double O. Double O, and we're gonna watch the Godzilla movie and the Miyazaki movie. All right, bye bye.